In this video, we're going to be looking at some special sequences. So I've chosen four um, just to really show you what different sequences there are and can we spot what the next three terms would be for each of these. So you might want to give this video a pause and try and determine what those next three terms for each of these would be and then play again. So assuming you've done that, okay, you've had a go, then what you should recognise is that the 14916, these are all a certain type of number. These are the square numbers. So that's 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. So the next one should be 5 squared, 25, 6 squared, 36, and 7 squared, 49. You may have gone about it by looking at plus 3, doing it this way. So that's adding 3, that's adding 5, that's adding 7. So each time you're adding 2 on the second row. So this time I need to add 9. This time I need to add 11. This time I need to add 13. And so on and so forth. So you can do it that way as well. But those you should recognise as being the square numbers. The next one, 1, 8, 27, 64, is another set of special numbers. These are the cube numbers. 1 cubed, 2 cubed, 3 cubed, 4 cubed. So the next one's 5 cubed and that's 125. Now the next one is 6 cubed. Okay, so I can spot a calculator over there, so I'm just going to steal it. See, good job I'm prepared. So 6 cubed should be 216, not one I keep in my head regularly, and 7 cubed is 343. Okay, now for GCSE Foundation, how many of them should you be able to spot? Really, I would suggest you know up to uh, 4 cubed. If you can know 5 cubed, all the better, but beyond that, don't worry. Okay, I don't keep them in my head, and you won't be expected to either. But they are the cube numbers. So we've had the square numbers, the cube numbers. Now this third example is a little bit interesting. Adding on 2, adding on 3, adding on 4. So the next one must be adding on 5, so 15. Then adding on 6 is 21. Then adding on 7 is 28. This sequence is known as the triangular numbers and comes from thinking about snooker balls. So you can see I'm adding on a row of snooker balls each time. And that's why you end up with 15 reds at the beginning of a game of snooker. Okay, so there's 15 reds. So if you wanted another layer, there would be 21 reds at the beginning. The last sequence, I'm going to be quite impressed if you saw it, if you didn't already know what it is. This is coming from 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8, so 5 plus 8 is 13, 8 plus 13 is 21, and 13 plus 21 is 34. Okay, and this is known as the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so that's the Fibonacci sequence. And that, Google it, there's lots of stuff on that one. So these are four sequences. It's good to be able to spot what the next number in the pattern is going to be, okay? So, being able to do this and like think about how the pattern is evolving is important. So, try it out. 